So what I do here, I just take a screwdriver, pry these up a little bit where you can get under them. Once you get all those up, you just have to come up over those tabs. It just pops off like that. So just like the 120, you got your bag with your instructions and warranty information, all that good stuff. So we have a bag with some cables. We have for your charger and your main positive cables if you decide to open. This is a battery state of charge meter and, and LED's LCD display. I have a new mount on these now. You see it looks a lot different than the, uh, the one that was in the 120 video. I made a much nicer mount so you can just screw this thing straight down. That's a, that's a pretty nice little setup there now. I like that. So this box we got safety glasses. This is your DC converter. Your 48 volt to 12 volt DC converter for all your accessories. You got your battery strap. Pull those old lead acid batteries up. Some zip ties. And then all your mounting hardware. The drill bit to drill the right holes for your bolts. Nothing. And we got some gloves. Charger. We'll open that up and show you what it looks like. So this is the Rhino Charger. 25 amp. Fast charger. High charging rig. Mount this guy on board. It's got a little feet here. You just screw it straight down. This is the other cord here. You just plug these guys in like that. And then your ring terminals go straight to the battery for your charger. That's the mounted on board. This here you got the mounting brackets for the battery. So this has got the little slot. You guys can see it. It's got a little slot here that uh, helps you get up over the battery tray on like the TXT. Little handles here. Pull these guys up. That is the Rhino 105. Have a buck. So these are positive and negative terminals. They got little covers on them. Um, these little white pieces on them. They're also a safety cover. Got your power button there. You turn it around. Your display screws in here. And then this is just a vent, just like the 120. On the TXT, these little brackets here for the um, battery hold downs. Those have to be cut off flush with the battery tray here. So this will do. Now the bracket, if you want to go the easy way, just sits over top of that rail there with that little spool. I like to try and make a little storage compartment in the front side of the tray there. So we're going to try and mount, we're gonna try and mount this one back here like this. Let it hang over a little bit and we'll create a little floor here. But the easier way would be to just drill your holes right here and mount it in and the battery will mount directly to that. You just do one on each side and with those cut off you won't hit the battery. If you don't have any way to cut these, you can also just hammer them down. Typically, just fold them over with a hammer. All right, guys. So right now we're wiring up the accessories here. So we've got the lithium rhino DC converter in there. We're adding a fuse block. So the black and the white off the converter. Your white is your positive to the fuse block. Your black is the negative. And then you have a black and a red here. These are going to be our power wires. We got to extend these. They're going to come over to the battery. And then your blue wire is a key switch wire. So you're going to have to run a wire off of that one up to the key switch up to the, the non-hot side of the key switch so it turns the converter on and off. And so we're going to finish wiring up all these accessories and clean up this wiring over here and then we'll be good. Uh, yeah, so we marked our holes for our brackets and kind of drill them out. So we drilled our holes, we got our brackets mounted in there, all bolted down. We're going to drop the battery in and get it bolted down and start wiring. And then we'll, we'll work on mounting this charger on board. So guys, when you, you're doing a 36 volt TXT, this uh, this is your reed switch wire come off the charging cord here. On the other side, this wire, the loom side, you need to take this and run to your battery positive. So we're going to pull the charge port out, cut this wire, and extend it, and this is going to go to battery positive. If you don't do that, this part will not run. Alright guys, so there we are. 105 is in the TXT. I've got the brackets all mounted. We just got to wire it up now. So lithium rhino does provide some heavy duty cables uh, for your main positive and your main negative to go to your solenoid. We're not going to use these on this cart because this cart's already been upgraded. It's got two gauge all throughout. So we're going to keep the wiring that they have in there. And uh, we'll get this thing wired up. We'll show you what it looks like once wired up and we'll take it for a rip. I can't get right, So we got the battery in. We'll wire it up here. And now we're going to get this charger installed. So on this guy, we have the two wires coming off of the battery here. They go to this plug. This plug just plugs into here. And on the AC side, what we like to do is install the charger on board so you can just plug in the extension cord. So Eric over here has an adapter plate that we made. I got to trim out behind it a little bit. That's going to go in right there with an AC port. And then this will just plug into the back of the AC port. And all you got to do is plug an extension cord in. On that re switch wire on this part, on this part, the solenoid was like perfectly right here for the back. So we're almost done with this guy. This is the screw to the back so you have some extra room up front. Normally if you don't have all of that stuff over there, we would mount the charger over there and then this would all be storage space in the middle here. But we're kind of out of room in this cart so the charger's going to have to take up some of the storage space. We're almost done there guys. So we've got the Rhino, lithium Rhino. 51.2 volt, 105. We have the charger mounted on board here. Yay! 
That's your uh, state of charge. We got the converter and the fuse block. The converter is ran off the key switch, so when you turn the key switch off, your radio that's up here and everything shuts off. You got everything wired up. It's running, looking good. Rhino, baby!